Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner for another Photoshop Elements 11 video tutorial. Now, in this particular video, I'm going to show you how you can use the guided edit mixed with the expert edit mode to come out with a picture not really thought up of by Adobe, but this is more of your own creation. So, let's go ahead and get started. So as I said, I'm first going to be using the guided edit mode. So up at the top here, we have three, basically, they call them tabs or buttons. One is quick fix, one is guided, and the last one is expert mode. We're going to go to the guided edit. Once we're in the guided edit mode, under photo effects on the right, I want you to click on Lomo camera effect. Now when you do that, it simply walks you through easy steps on how to create this Lomo camera effect on your picture. Now we're going to talk about that after we set after we go ahead and try these settings. First, let's go ahead and select Lomo camera effect. You can see right away it discolors the whole picture, but that is the effect that this is supposed to have on your picture. It's supposed to discolor it. It's making it look kind of aged and uh, weathered a little bit to give that picture that old age look. Next, we're going to apply our vignette. So let's click on that one time. And we're going to apply our vignette. Now our vignette is added. Now, a couple of things here I don't like. First, when that vignette is added, if you noticed, it actually cropped the picture up. I don't know why it does that, but it actually cropped the picture up. That's going to make the second part just a little bit harder, but we're still going to go ahead and do it anyway to show you how this is done. Now, what we're going to do now is click on Done because we're done with our guided edit. And then we're going to go ahead and take this picture right into our expert mode. Let's go click and click on expert. Now you can see in the expert mode, we have the Lomo effect on its own layer. If you shut that off, that is the regular picture. If you turn it on and you could probably see how that is coming up. So it is definitely cropped out a little bit, but that's okay. Now we're going to leave it on. And what we're going to do now is I don't want my subject or the person discolored. I like the background discolored, but I want to bring the person out with their normal skin tones, normal lighting and all of that. So in order to do this in expert mode, what we're going to do is we're going to add a layer mask. So if you're, ver if you are working with elements nine, 10 or 11, you will have a layer mask. If you're working with a version older than that, you should be thinking of upgrading. If you don't, go back and check my videos on how to fake a layer mask. All right, so we have the layer mask selected. <coughs> we have a brush selected and we are going to be painting with black because black will reveal what's underneath and white will hide it. Let's go ahead and start basically painting over the place that we want to pull out. So we're taking the effect off of off of our subject here and we're taking that discoloration off. That's what we're working on now. So we're taking the discoloration off. And you can do as much or as little as you want. Now, once again, though, you got to be careful because with that cropping, it actually, um, Realize the picture basically on its own is what it's doing. I'm going to get a couple of these hairs out of here. And again, folks, please don't write and say, Jack, that's a terrible job. This is a very, very uh, fast going over here to show you how to do this. And what we're doing, though, is we're actually painting on that layer mask with black. But what we're really essentially doing is when you do use a layer mask, if you don't know how they work, we are revealing what's underneath of the layer mask itself is what we're doing. And you can see right back here on her shirt, that's some ghosting effect. That's because the pictures did not line up and there's tons of ways. And I know you know how to fix those. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you how to fix those. There's tons of ways you can do that. Get this brush size a little bigger and make it a little bit easier to, uh, 
to uh, sketch this out on my uh, my walk-on pad here. Just make it a little bit easier to sketch. So what you're doing is you're basically just going, like I said, the underlying layer. And we're removing that color cast off of our subject is what we're doing. Now if you go anywhere outside the area, all we have to do is switch our default color our default color palettes here black and white and we can do it by using the X key you can see it switched to white lower the brush size down using your left bracket key and we'll just go up here and clean up some of this hair right up on top here and make that look like this so remember anytime you're using any of the I call them canned effects or quick or guided edit effects you can always bring those pictures in your full editor and be able to uh, edit and clean up what you want and still work with your pictures. It's very, very simple to do. And uh, just keep practicing on it. Keep working your way through these. I'm sure you will get it also. Now you have a beautiful picture and the person has no color cast on them. But you have that effect on the background. That's where you really, really want it. So again, thank you very much for watching this video tutorial. And if you have not done so yet, stop by my website, jackstechcorner.com and look over the training DVDs. They're very inexpensive and it does help to produce these shows. It helps to purchase new equipment, new software. When Photoshop Elements comes out, I have to buy this every year. It's not given to me. So I have to purchase it every year and that helps the show to survive. So until next time, Please, as always, keep those shutters clicking, keep your editors editing, and I'll see you back here very soon on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.